the recently renovated manor house, Konark of 96, Adrianu Str, in Plaka, known as the House of the Beni Zilos family, constitutes a rare and representative specimen of similar manor houses of the 18th century which is preserved until this day. The manor house of the Benizilos Paleologos family belongs to the Archdiocese of Athens and recently opened its doors to the public, offering it a precious opportunity to be guided to the life of the ruling civic class of Athens of the Ottoman era. In parallel, the visitor has the opportunity to get to know a significant part of the history of the city of Athens as it has been depicted in the individual compartments of the manor house. Indeed, the Roman era is evident in the depths of the building, and at a depth of 4.5 meters approximately, still visible are parts of the Roman wall, which was covered with a glass floor showcasing pipes, a vaulted tank, storage silos, stone parts of the colonnade of the portico on the ground floor, and a well head, which is situated at the center of the courtyard, a feature of the manor houses of the era, while it bears pronounced signs from Ropius. At the side of the built stair, which leads from the courtyard to the first floor, a wash basin is embedded, which in conjunction to the well ensure the existence of water for domestic needs. On the ground floor of the building, there have been unearthed traces of buildings of the 16th century AD. It is that era during which buildings have been linked to the Benizilos Paleologos family from which Saint Philothé descended. Therefore, the fact is not accidental that according to the tradition, this building is known as the House of St. Philothé. The largest part of the Benizilos Manor House was constructed in all probability during the first half of the 18th century. According to the floor plan of the building, the building is classified under the category of the urban manor house, known as Konark as it was formed in the Ottoman towns from the middle of the 17th century until the beginning of the 19th century. The Konark is formed as a complex which is labyrinthine with a usually wooden roof and stone-built walls which define two or even three sides of the manor houses. A feature of the floor plan is the Oda, Odas, namely the room unit, and the Hayati, a semi-open air transitional space. The Konark has an internal courtyard, which is enclosed by tall stone fences. The Benizilos Manor House, the, according to tradition, ancestral house of St. Philothé extends in two floors of rectangular shape, of the dimensions of 9, multiplied by 23, meters. It has a stone-built ground floor, with a wooden superstructure and two courtyards, one at the northern and one at the southern side. The access to the until this day enclosed courtyard of the northern side is achieved from the interior of the manor house, following the arcade of the ground floor, coming alongside the wooden hierarchy of the first floor. The garden which once graced the manor house extended at the southern side. On the site of the once garden, there is a closed balcony, the Sachnisi, as it was called, which is reached from the northern courtyard through a vaulted passage the Diabeticon. At the eastern and western side of the building, which had been once free, one discerns windows blocked by more recent buildings. Also, it is probable that the manor house included, in the medieval era, also an oil mill, which was found in the southern part. Of especially significant interest is the stone-built ground floor of the house, which is comprised of three closed spaces and a gallery. From an architectural aspect, the interest focuses on the arcade of the gallery of the ground floor, in which one can adore monolithic marble thin columns. Lotus and acanthus leaves adorn the truncated conical capitals. On the ground floor pit hoy jars have been found which were used for the storage of cereals, oil and wine as well as wine presses, but also containers for must. The main living space in the manor house of the Beni Zilos family was on the upper floor, where two symmetrically arranged odors, rooms, are situated, the summer and the winter odor, with the fireplace. 
The odors had small rows of windows with light holes, which shut with a plaster-decorated glass barrier on their interior side. 